Hello everybody, it's numerologist Michelle Buchanan with your numerology forecast for May 2020. How are you? Are you hanging in there during these crazy times? Once again, I'm sending you love and blessings from New Zealand, no matter where you are in the world. And thank you for taking the time to listen to this forecast. Just like it was in April, I've changed the format uh, while we're going through lockdown and while we're going through uh, the coronavirus, um, changing the format to focus more on the universal year number and the universal month number for May, uh, because that affects everybody globally. And I want to dive into that to give you a greater understanding of what's going on um, within you personally, in your own personal lives, as well as the vibration for the entire planet. So let me recap. 2020 is what is known as a four universal year and how we get that four universal year is we're basically adding all the digits together in 2020 two plus zero and two plus zero equals four so the four universal year it's about it's a building year okay it's a year that focuses on building it focuses on gradually building a strong foundation using a step-by-step -step process over a period of time so it's slow and steady wins the race now you need to know that number four or the four year is never a quick fix it's a gradual ongoing process that requires dedication determination effort and hard work over a prolonged period of time so this year is about breaking down old unstable systems that were built upon a fault line all right so it's basically about rebuilding a stronger purer and more stable structure that will stand the test of time moving forward all right so we're building this new foundation this year and that requires patience and tolerance number four no matter where it appears whether it appears in a universal year number whether it appears in a individual person's personal year number a universal year number a universal month a personal month a pinnacle a challenge it doesn't matter even a life path in a person's numerology chart based on their birth date wherever number four appears anywhere it is calling on patience and a need for patience and tolerance where slow and steady wins the race so we must be patient and tolerant we must be prepared to face delays obstacles challenges limitations and restrictions however it's not all doom and gloom because the beauty of the four is there is a light at the end of the tunnel and all effort that is put in will be rewarded over time it's just kind of like when the going gets tough, the tough need to get going. And that's what number four is teaching us. Discipline, perseverance, dedication, commitment, and the ability to see the light at the end of the tunnel, even when we have no evidence that there is, that there is a guarantee that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. So we need blind faith, hope, and trust. Now, a lot of good can be achieved in a four-year all right a lot of good can be achieved and that will carry us through for many years to come not just this year we're building a future here okay so in the long run it'll all be worth the it'll all be worth the effort so this year we need to be positive we need to be able to see the glass half full and we need to persevere we have to be resilient we have to dig deep we have to be strong and we need to hold the vision of our desired outcome constantly in the front of our minds okay and I know it's not easy I know that's a big ask for all of us but we can do it if we believe we can do it so perception and belief is the key here now let's take a closer look at that 2024 year so yes it totals a number four but we also need to take into consideration that that number four total universal year is actually comprised of two number twos so let's take a look at those number twos so the four year remember it's about building a new foundation all right we're building this new foundation we're doing the groundwork 
Now that foundation that we're building is based upon the principles of two number twos. So therefore number two and everything that number two represents is doubled and amplified because there are two number twos in 2020. Now whenever we get a zero in numerology, whenever a zero proceeds a number, it amplifies the energy of the number preceding it. So therefore we've got a two and an amplified two with a zero and then another two and an amplified two with another zero. So we've got a lot of two energy going on here. Now what does that two represent? So as we're building this new foundation, number two is focusing on cooperation, teamwork, coming together as a group, unity consciousness. The two focuses on creating peace and harmony compassion. It also represents the divine feminine. So this is where we're looking at that female intuition that's in every single one of us. We're looking at healing. We're going to be focusing on self-healing this year. We're going to be focusing on understanding the power of collective and group consciousness. Okay, also number two represents balance. All right, balance and getting things in order. Now, the universe itself, one of the universal principles or universes, universal laws is the law of balance. And the nature of the universe is simply to create balance. And wherever there is, wherever there is an imbalance somewhere, whether it's in the world or in our own individual lives and in our own individual selves, then our body, our human body and the universe when we're, or the, the planet when we're looking at the world will naturally create chaos or a situation or bring things to the surface so that we can then take a look at what is out of balance and start working towards creating balance, rebuilding towards balance and harmony. All right, so that works in us individually as humans. And it works on the planet as well. And number two is about creating balance. So in order to create balance, we need to first of all know where we're out of balance, don't we? So be aware of these themes that are going on beneath the surface. Number two also focuses on mediation and finding a, a solution across the board that involves cooperation. The two also focuses on emotion and all of that sort of intuition and, and female energy that we we're talking about before. So therefore you will notice these key themes will be activated and amplified within your own individual self throughout the year as well as what's going on in the world. Especially for anybody that has a number two personal year number this year or even anybody that's a two life path or an 11 two life path or a four life path. So therefore, we need to be aware this year, very important guys, that we follow our instincts. We need to learn to trust our gut more than ever before, to listen to our hearts. Don't believe everything we're told by the mainstream media. If something doesn't feel right, if something just doesn't feel right, you don't need to know why it doesn't feel right. You don't necessarily need to know the details. Just simply explore things on your own bat. You know, take a path less travel and just go exploring. You'll find plenty of information if you start searching. Once you go down the rabbit hole, you won't want to come back out. And you may be surprised what you find. But everybody has their own individual journey. Some will travel down the rabbit hole and find some incredible information. And others won't. And that's perfectly fine. There is no right or wrong. Everybody's just in their own stage of the journey. But if you feel like there's more to be explored and you don't always believe everything you're told, Go down that rabbit hole. It's really cool down there. Um, okay, also what you need to know in this double two year is um, there's going to be a need for, for us, all of us, to work on our own self-healing. All right, none of us are getting off scot-free. Shit's going to come to the surface and it's not anything to be afraid of. It's a good thing. So the first place we want to start is maybe start exploring our childhood wounds. We've all got them. Some are worse than others, but we've all got a story. 
So this is a perfect year, guys, especially with the lockdown and spare time on our hands, for those that do have spare time on their hands, to get to know your story. What's your story? The story you tell yourself, the story about your upbringing and how you see the world and your perception of yourself and your life's journey so far. You know, it's a time where we are encouraged to work on, to, to recognize our programmed patterns of behavior and where they stem from. It's we're being encouraged to understand and to recognize our triggers, things that trigger us into fear and anxiety. You know, what takes us out of balance? What takes us out of harmony? And we need to recognize those triggers and see them for what they are, recognize those patterns of behavior and start working on those things. Why? To create peace, harmony and balance within our own individual selves, because that's what this year is asking us to do. And remember, we're all connected. We're all one. And we are all connected and we are all one as a human race. But not only that, we're all connected and we're all one with the earth itself. Okay, this is how it works. And like I said, the nature of the universe is to create balance. And when there are areas that are out of balance, the universe will bring it to the surface to be addressed. And if you want to heal the world, if you want to improve things in the world, You've got to create peace, harmony, and healing within yourself and balance and healing within your own self first. That's one of the best things we can do for the planet or for the world or for humanity is to work on our own individual selves. Because as we heal ourselves, we heal the whole. Because we're all one. We're all connected. So don't be afraid, guys, to let your issues come to the surface this year. All right? It's simply part of the process. It's normal. And remember, those issues are much better out than in. And they're going to come to the surface at some stage anyway. So bring it on. Use this as a special time to go within and to get to know yourself. Number two is the number of the heart. So get in touch with the heart of you. Get in touch with your heart center. That's where all the good stuff is. That's the home of your soul and all that juicy stuff that's real. And that's away from the illusion of the bullshit material world. You know, get into the heart and soul of all you are and choose love over fear. Now, let's take a look at the month of May. May is what is known as a nine universal month in this 2024 year. So how is nine a universal month? Well, 2020, the year, is a four year. So we've got a four universal year. How we find out the number of the universal month is we add that four universal year to the month that we're inquiring about. And the month we're inquiring about is May, and May is a five. So we add that five to the four year. And so that means we're in a nine universal month for May. So the nine universal month of May is about endings, completion, and transformation. Let me remind you once again how that fits in with the four year. Remember, bottom line is we're building a new foundation. Remember, we're building a new foundation to stand the test of time moving forward and we're breaking down unstable systems that are based on a fault line. All right, so we're rebuilding for that four year. And um, that's the purpose of the year. And the month of May, the nine month of endings, May is telling us to let go of the past. It's endings. It's a month of endings. It's a time to accept, let go, and move forward. To surrender to what is and release what once was because that is now in the past. The more we hold on to the past, the harder it will be. Acceptance is the key while giving ourselves time to mourn and appreciate what, want, what once was. Appreciation is important. Recognizing it, it's still a loss. You know, it's still a heartbreaking loss. So you don't want to try and sweep that under the carpet because that's unrealistic. But just try not to get all doom and gloom about it because don't assume that the future can't be any better. If you've lost your job, don't assume you're not going to get another job. There are other new areas and in, in industries that are going to be awoken because of this, that are going to be introduced. And even though there'll be a period of chaos and turmoil and uncertainty and fear and anxiety, it's not going to stay that way. It's not going to stay that way. So be open 
Don't lock you, shut yourself down to opportunities and new beginnings, okay? You're going to have to dig deep and trust me on this, okay? So let go of what, want, what once was. In order to move forward, we need to tidy up loose ends. We need to make peace with what is now. Before we can create the new, we need to break down the past. And that's kind of what's going on. That's what we're working through at the moment, you know, in the month of May. So the nine month of May is also about releasing and letting go. Now, for some, everyone's situation is different. Everybody's life is different. For some people, it may be releasing fear, thoughts of fear and worry, anxiety. Some, it may be releasing envy and jealousy, judgment, an inferiority complex, anger, shame, mistrust, hate. For others, it may be, you know, releasing and letting go of being driven by material obsession, you know, that need to accumulate more stuff. You know, the lockdown and the shift in consciousness and what's going on around you has, has created a lot of people to realize what's more important, that relationships are more important, emotional stability, peace and harmony, health is more important than stuff. So many people have been on the hamster wheel of, you know, the, you know, the work, 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 accumulate more, 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 more. And sort of to realize in this lockdown period and with the virus and everything, wow, what was it all for? Was it really as important as I thought it was? You know, everyone's different. But anyway, the nine month of May is about releasing, letting go. Now, the nine month of May is also about transformation, moving from one phase to another, out with the old to make way for the new and improve that is coming. So remember, transformation, guys, it's an ongoing process over time. It doesn't happen overnight. It's a process, and it will go way and above and beyond just May. It'll go for years to come, this process. So be patient and trust the system. Trust yourself. You don't need to know the outcome now. You just need to be patient and trust. You don't need to know what's going to happen. You don't need to know the ins and outs and the details of the hows, whens and whos. That's the universe's job anyway. You could never figure out how everything is going to fall into place with your own human logical mind. That The answers to those questions are in the realm of the divine. And your job is to trust and have faith and believe in something higher than yourself that has perfect order in the divine's plan. So just let the information and the ideas come to the surface of the next logical step for you to take if you're feeling lost and confused. You know, the way that you are given that divine inspiration, that idea that just comes from nowhere and pops into your head that says, go here, do this, ring this person, visit this place, go to that website. The divine instructions that come through your intuition that will show you synchronistically how to be in the right place at the right time. In order for that divine inspiration to filter through into your conscious human mind, you need to create space for it in your human mind. You need to create speed, space for the ideas to come, to arise. And how does that, how do you do that? You've got to create quiet time alone, peace and harmony in your mind. You're going to have to put aside the chitter chatter, the distraction, the, the obsessive fears and thinking and thoughts and obsessive actions and doing and racing over here and racing over there and think, 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 do, 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 do. You need to have space, quiet time, time in nature, time in contemplation, rest and relaxation. That's how intuitive guidance comes through. Meditation. Oh my God, you can't get any better than that. Prayer. Meditation. Breath work. Kijong. Yoga. All those beautiful juicy things will help you uh, to get closer to that guidance. Help you to create a clean, clear channel. Last but by no means least, the nine month of May is also about humanity and the collective consciousness, the whole unity. So May is encouraging us to unite, guys, to realize that we are one and together we can overcome. That is the key of what's going on here right now. Together we can reach the critical mass that's necessary to create this new earth, a new and improved earth. In fact, we already have. 
We already have taken those steps. We just have to get it fully locked and loaded and have it unfolding in a more obvious way. So remember, results may not be obvious and they may not happen overnight, but changes are definitely happening and brewing beneath the surface. Trust me, things are happening behind the scenes, whether you are able to see them or not. And trust me, if you train yourself to see evidence of what is good in your everyday life, the smaller things are big things. If you train yourself, it's all in your perception. If you train yourself to recognize what is right instead of focusing on what is wrong, the universe will send you more evidence. It's just you have to train yourself to notice it. Don't always look for the big bells and whistles or the big kahuna things. Look for the small things. Look for the beauty. It could be a smile from a stranger that you would never expect would happen to you because sometimes you walk past people and they don't even look at you. But people are becoming warmer. People are connecting with strangers. You know, there are all different ways if you look for that evidence. It could be something beautiful, a beautiful blue sky, a beautiful flower, um, a joke with somebody, a little laughter that you have at the checkout counter at the supermarket. It could be anything, you know. Just when you look for things, you will find them. You just have to train yourself to see them. Results, like I said, are definitely happening. So keep your spirits up and have that hope. Our uniting together is the key to our future happiness and to improving things around us. Now, many people out there are feeling lonely and disconnected. And that is because we have lost touch with our inner selves. We've lost touch in this modern world. And this modern way of living where all we're focused on is a, focusing on is accumulating things and stuff and the benchmark of society that says, get married, have kids, do this, get a mortgage, pay this off, have this career, do this, do that. In that fast-paced moving world, we were focusing on the material side of life. We've lost touch with our inner selves, our spirituality, our soul. So many of us can't hear the calling of our soul. Now it's time to adopt the ancient wisdom of the past, which is actually very simple, and it's the key to helping us move forward in the future, the now and the future. This wisdom is all about our relationship with the divine, our relationship with the whole, and our relationship with our soul. So that's what I want you to realize. That's where we're heading. We're going in that direction. All right. And we are all connected. So be a bit kinder to strangers and people outside of your own circle of family and friends. We need to start thinking more compassionately and more community based. All right. So here's a list of things to do for May. First and foremost, understand your patterns of behavior. Work out what triggers you. Secondly, make time to be quiet. Quiet time alone for contemplation, to go within and to explore, to meditate, to visualize. Uh, thirdly, work on forgiveness. That's right, guys, forgiving people, forgiving circumstances, life circumstances and unfortunate situations that have happened to you. And of course, forgiving yourself for things you may have done or said that you're not proud of. You've got to forgive yourself too. May is also a month to release the past, be hopeful, and be hopeful about the future. Build a clean slate. Tidy loose ends, make amends. May is a time to ask yourself, what do I need to release? For some people, it could be a relationship, could be a job, could be a belief that the most important thing in life is money and material things. Everybody's at a different space. And what do you need to release? Or not even, it's okay if you can't actually physically release these things in May. It's also about just having the idea come to the surface, having those realizations come to the surface. So it doesn't matter when you release, it's just as long as you let those thoughts come to the surface. All right. This is also a month to adopt a spiritual practice. The whole year is, in fact, your whole goddamn life is, to be honest with you. Adopt a spiritual practice. This is the missing link. All right, whatever you believe in. Now, whatever you want to call the divine, it doesn't matter. The label is irrelevant. It doesn't matter if you call it the universe, if you call it the divine, if you call it God, if you call it whatever. 
It doesn't matter. Just know there's a higher power. Build a relationship with that higher power. Build a dialogue, a relationship of communication. You know, that's what prayer is. It's communicating with the divine. You don't need to be on your hands and knees with your hands above under your chin. You know, you could talk out loud in your mind, walking along on your daily walk, lying in bed with your eyes closed, falling asleep, brushing your teeth. It really doesn't matter. It's, it's a dialogue with the divine where you're communicating. You're thanking the divine for all that you have. You're asking the divine for assistance. Please help me to be patient. Please help me to have faith. Please give me the ability to be courageous. Please give me the ability to persevere through these challenging times. Please give me hope. Whatever you need, you ask for. Okay. Meditation, vital. Visualization, visualizing yourself, being better than you thought you would be. Having the answers you need come through to you so that you know the next logical step to take. Visualize yourself being balanced and harmonious like those number twos and being cooperative and at peace within yourself. This is a month, in fact, the whole year, in fact, your whole life is a time to expect miracles. The divine is a miracle magnet. And when you believe in miracles, you will attract miracles. But you have to believe in them first. You must believe, you must have blind faith, you must have hope to create and to create miracles around you. So I'll leave that with you guys and I'll just finish by saying the future outcome is still being created by our collective thoughts today. Everything you think and feel is contributing to the outcome of the whole. So as we head into this new territory that is still unfolding, we're going through a time that has never, ever happened before in the whole history of this planet. This is brand new for humanity and planet Earth. And if you want to make it the best planet Earth it can be, and you want to help yourself and help the whole, you've got to start by fixing yourself. Work on your wounds. Work on your issues. Love yourself. Be kind to yourself. Be hopeful and positive. Remember, every time you get stressed out and you're complaining and you're really pissed off about the virus and how it's changed your life and changed your world please take a moment to remember we are very blessed that all we've been asked to do is to stay home this could have been a hell of a lot worse trust me so be grateful that this is what it is i'll leave that with you I send you love. For those that need a reading from me, I'm still doing right throughout the whole time of this uh, lockdown and virus. I will continue doing my 30-minute readings for half price. So my 30-minute personal readings are 75 New Zealand dollars for New Zealanders and 75 US dollars for anyone outside of New Zealand um, ongoing until things settle down internationally with the virus. All right, so just email me and uh, I'll send you a time and send you some info. God bless. Take care. Have an awesome May. Bye.